Welcome to the Star Surfer. I say we talk about Sideshow Collectibles Bane. Stick around. Okay, real quick, we're just gonna go over the box real fast. It's a pretty cool looking, uh, uh, what would you call this? I, I'm gonna go with a uh, uh, Batman and Robin kind of, no. Yeah, Batman and Robin kind of vibe. Kind of like the uh, Uma Thurman, Poison Ivy, you know, Joel Schumacher crap. That's kind of what it looks like to me. I'm not a big fan of this base. I mean, this box. That's what it reminds me of. Joel Schumacher, Batman and Robin. Although this is, this is nice. It's lightning there, the city's all threatened. And the coolest part of it all is this, can you see that? Yeah. Really sweet cityscape here. Little scared bats there. He's worn out. Bane just wore his ass out. He's gonna meet him in the Wayne Manor here in a second. So he's pretty depressing. Another end, just a pull that on the top. It says Bane. I mean, it's okay. It just it seems buddy. Is that part Looks pretty good? Again, it's three forty-six of eight hundred. Whoop de do. There you go. There's the box. All right. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. This is such a collectibles bane here. I'm not gonna unbox this in front of you. Look at this thing. I don't have room for that. Check out some other videos. I'll do uh, I'll do some cuts, and we'll get to it. This thing's giant. Okay. All right. Just real quick. This is pretty cool. I had to get this on film. This is pretty interesting here. This base. The bat signal's broken. It's gotta be cool. Let's check it out. Let's pull this out of here. I don't have a lot of room, and we'll just pull a few things out that I think are cool looking. Try to get some cool stuff set up. I suppose. I don't know. Just gonna make this quick, real quick. Ooh. Ooh. All right. That's a pretty good weight. It's pretty heavy. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. That's neat. So that's 346 out of 800. I guess they only made a 800 of these. And the exclusive is just like a, a luchador mask. Probably like a uh, new 2000 mask. And then, you know, the standard is like the uh, Nightfall series. Anyway, it's got some little chunks in here. I don't want to bore you with all that, but let's, I'll dig it out here in a minute. There's styrofoam everywhere, but look at that. Woo! Oh, yeah. Looks pretty darn cool. Okay. It's bigger than I thought it would be. All right. I always say that. That's true. Okay, as I, slow, as I slowly put this thing together, I gotta tell you, this guy is freaking heavy. Alright, as we get closer to assembling this gigantic uh, savage bastard, I gotta say that there's some similarities in uh, packing they've acquired. It's kind of similar to XM. Every little piece is, is packaged up, which is kind of a different take, I think. And uh, we're just gonna put all these little bad boys together. Like, all these were, they were wrapped up. Seems like there's some care taken to it. There's styrofoam pieces everywhere to ensure that it arrived right. And so far, nothing's broken. It's big. So, okay. All right. As we get closer, here's another example. Just plastic, and then you got this uh, paper wrapped around it. So, I think they're taking a step. I mean, this is a very expensive piece, but I think they're... All these pa all these parts seem really well done. There's weight to them. All of them, especially that freaking body. It's crazy. Here's some details of this glove here. Pretty rad. Look at those fingernails, those little grippers, those back grippers, the back breakers. Yeah, pretty sweet. That glove's awesome. This is a it's, a, it's a big glove. Here's the exclusive head. I'm not sure it's too popular, but check it out. You see? Yeah, it looks like a Gucci door. Actually, pretty sweet. Those red eyes. I like that. It looks pretty menacing. Got stitches in the back there. If you can see that. Okay. I'll get closer later on. I think that, that face looks pretty good. Can you see him? Yeah. Yeah, he's looking pretty good. Let's try that first. Alright. Alright, there he goes. There's, uh, there's Bane, again. Getting a little closer. I don't know how close that is necessarily, but uh, we can go over it a little bit. Um, I can see it, but there's the mixed media. Looking pretty good. Bat signal. And he is a heavy bastard. Pardon my French, but... Uh, He's definitely weighty. 
There's that chest. Look, that thing is great. I think the same guy who did this, the sculptors anyway, I think, I, I'm not mistaken, I didn't look at the box or any of the credits, but I think they are the same people who did, uh, uh, Gladiator Hulk, maybe an Apocalypse. A lot of other big pieces. Yeah, let's see, he's even, he's, let's push him back, if not off the table. Oh, shit. Looks like I'm cussing a lot. Um, the tube's actually thick. It doesn't look as cheap. It, well, it's not as cheap as it looks, actually. This whole part right here comes off. It's pretty thick. There's a weak magnet up there in the middle on his armband. Then it goes up to the top. And these things, there's two of these, and there's one per head is what it seems like. So they're kind of individually sized or whatever for that. So that's him. I really like that face. I think that'll be hard to take off for me. The eyes, he looks crazed and sickened. He's doped up, just like my uh, daughter, apparently, because she was able to pull this thing in the house without, you know, breaking a sweat. So she's grounded. All right, look at that back. I mean, we have a couple rules in this in this house. A house. Some rules in this house that are simple. Make some good grades. No street fighting. No drugs. No vandalism. I mean, that's pretty much it. Be nice. Be cool. Be excellent. She's always on drugs if she dragged this in the house by herself. Don't know how she did that. All right, let's get closer. All right, here's a look at the uh, venom attachment on the back of his neck. He's got a little uh, discoloration there. Looks okay, I guess. And uh, this part, there's two of them, like I said, per head, I think. That's what, I'm, that's what I believe. And this is the EX version. Got his little knits back there, a little knitting. Knitting and knitting and knitting. And that's what I'm talking about, the skin tone. You, you're going to either love this or hate it. It's, I think from a far away it actually does look like skin. Close up it looks a lot like mine. Oh wow. Freckles. Almost looks frecklage. I mean, I'm pretty sure this guy is South American. But look, there we go. Some massive muscles there. Some crazy muscles. Bandage sticking out there. Great detail on the gloves. It looks great. Um, this looks weird. I, I always thought this looked weird, even the prototype, this business here. I mean, that's one skin type painted on a uh, tank top. It seems like it would go over, but maybe that's just too fragile or too dangerous. I'm not sure if maybe the correct move may have been to make this sculpted and that. Um, makes me a bit, nah. I mean, look at all that. You won't hide all that. I understand. You had to sacrifice some things. I'm fine with it. I think it's cool. That other glove, that other back-breaking back glove. And there's this part I was talking about, this thing. Comes off, and connects there, and there. And there's the face again. I really, I really dig that face. It's really good. He looks crazy tough. I'm not sure where that came from. Like maybe during the Secret Six or the Suicide Squad? I'm not sure. So let's go back down to the base. Pants look, the pants are cool too, I've got to rough them up a little bit, they're a little bit worn. That belt, straight out of the, the comics area, a little red dial there. That's straight out of his first appearance. I mean, this whole suit is, besides the uh, EX mask. These laces are awesome. I mean, they really, I, I had to touch them. It's hard to see there, maybe, but I had to touch them. And the details there, side look freaking awesome. This part would have been cooler if it was a little more clear and translucent, so it actually looked like glass. Kind of bugs me. A little more... I don't know. It seems like it's all one tone. I hate to go the, down the same argument and bitch complaints and things like that that I have with certain XM pieces. But it looks like I'm going to. It seems like it's one tone down here. This base. Like where, you know, a light probably would have serviced this a little bit better. Because we're seeing a lot of the same um, palette here. It's kind of disappointing. There's a lot of detail in it, though, and some rust. It looks good. And this is a separate piece here, individually wrapped. Pretty nice job. Let's get real close in there, sorry. Not bad signal, man. That's it's really cool. It actually raised up. It's actually like he's stomping on it. They had to put styrofoam down in here to protect these things. Pretty nice. So I think with that three-dimensional vibe they're putting off there, man, just a little light under there, just a subtle one. Would have been sweet. That styrofoam. This thing had a lot of styrofoam on it, which I appreciate. The rocks look good. Cracks in there look pretty decent. It's good. And there's rust in there, and there's all kinds of little elements in there, you just gotta get close to see it. From far away, I think it just kinda starts to blend in. The boots are really awesome. 
Like a lot of these details in this statue seem to be during the close up. Like there's a lot of really cool things like the dirt there. You can't really see from far away. Um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> little Dill Skeller's in the suit there. He's in a little pocket. Nothing, nothing goes in there, but maybe some additional vitamins. Probably some orange juice or vitamin C tablets. Because, you know, he's on the juice, obviously. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming it's vitamin C. I don't know how else you get that big. It's got to be vitamins. Anyway, there's uh, the venom. That's probably it, though. Top shot of that. Vi veins everywhere. I'll spin around a little bit more here. Get a picture of the back. The back is huge. That's my hand. I'm reasonably big. Six foot. Two hundred and something freaking pounds. But this guy is... Uh, he weighs about as much as me, man. It's gigantic. Such a heavy piece, I couldn't believe it. I mean, maybe the Destroyer is close. I have that. I'm pretty sure the just the body is heavier than Galactus. There are a lot of guys that I have that are... He's solid. Like, I think you're getting... People wanted quality for a long time. Maybe this isn't the perfect piece for everyone, but... They wanted SciShow to do something a little more... Oh, there's a weird gap there. That kind of sucks. They wanted SciShow to do some, you know... Stop putting out hollow pieces of crap for $500. So, they're going to charge you six or seven, whatever this is, and let you break a sweat pulling them out of the box. All right. Hold on a second. Okay. I may have had the wrong one on there, because uh, this is a little more flush. It looks pretty good. And, man, this could be hard to pick ahead. Look at those eyes. They're reflective. They kept that light. Ah, oh, man. Damn. That is looking good. Okay, that was a look at uh, Sideshow Collectibles. Premium format, Bane. This thing is big, heavy, well done. Just lots of detail, tons of it. Hold on! Uh, all toast to the vengeance of Bane. Uh, thanks for checking it out. We're going to do a really quick si uh, comparison um, with uh, another statue. So I appreciate it. Hey, stick around. Uh, we're going to have more things. So uh, remember, Magnu was right. Here we go. There's a size comparison with the uh, modern version of uh, the premium format of that man here, the blue version, and uh, the current Bane here. Now, there's a fun fact you need to know. Um, a lot of people gravitate towards the black and all that bull crap, but during the Nightfall series, check it out, download it, buy the hardcover. There's an omnibus out now. Get some back issues if you want to go to your local comic book store, and you'll find out that Batman was actually wearing these colors. He was representing blue and yellow, and you guys asked for it. Once again, thanks for checking out Centauri's Store.